What's up Metalheads, this is Brandon back with another tech tip on airbrushes. Um, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the Badger Red Dab, Reg Dab Needle Juice Airbrush Lubricant on our Badger 360 airbrush. Um, you can get both of these products at webairbrushes.com if you use the coupon code SUMMER2017 you can get 25% off your order. The airbrushes we're going to be using as I stated is the Badger 360. This is an all-purpose airbrush with a deep well. It allows you to hold a lot of paint. It's good if you're going to do a bunch of models at once or if you're going to be doing um, large pieces of terrain or anything else like that. Um, the cool thing about it is as far as cleaning the airbrush and everything, you just simply disconnect it and then this rotates up or into any direction. It will spray in any direction also so however you need to hold it in order to spray you can turn that so you can still see what you're spraying. As far as the Badger 360 you can get them usually for about $164 retail and then the needle juice is $570 or so per bottle. Um, as far as what it's used for is as we know with airbrushes there's the needle that goes through the body of it and you pull it back air comes through picks up the paint from the cylinder and then sprays out. Well, Sometimes the areas in here can get dry and that's what the lubricant is there for. It's to lubricate the area here where the trigger action is and lubricate the area where the needle picks up the paint. In order to use it, you simply remove your needle, which here is the collar, pull your needle out, set it to the side, pull your trigger out, your trigger assembly, and then you have your needle juice. Gonna put two to three drops in here into the reservoir. One, two, three, and then two to three drops in here. One, two, three. Then simply follow your normal procedure to reinstall all the components. making sure that everything's nice and seated try not to knock everything over like I do your needle goes back in, Ooh, I forgot the collar and of course now it's not going to go in Now that everything's back together, I always like to work it a few times just to make sure that everything gets nice and coated. Kind of, you know, move the trigger around, make sure you pull it up, make sure you're pushing down so that way the air that's coming in here would be coming in here, you're getting that lubricated as well. And then once you're all done, set it aside to dry for a few minutes. your air hose to it. Throw your compressor on. And you're just going to spray out the extra oil. Let the pressure build up for a second. Come out. See 
some of the back filling into there. So you can hold your finger over it. And then you're just going to spray it until it sprays clear. Sometimes another good thing to do, after you get the majority of it out, just turn your compressor back off. Let it sit for a minute so that way all the needle juice and everything that's in here can kind of flow down and fully dry. And then once it's sat for about a half an hour, just repeat that process to get any excess needle juice that's still in there out. If you guys have any further questions, you can always reach us at, at Metalhead Minis or MHM Pro Painting at gmail.com. Check us out on the web at metalheadminis.com. If you want to pick up this stuff and you're headed to Gen Con 50 this year from August 17th to August 20th, come visit us at the Badger booth. We'll be at booth 573. There's going to be lots of awesome deals on wholesale prices of airbrushes, compressors, paints, primers, pretty much everything. Ken usually does a really good job of bringing all of his supplies and everything that you're going to need if you want to get into airbrushes. And again, if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out to us. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. Take care.